Hey everybody, this is Julianne. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. And welcome to another top 10 video. This is another fun branch off of my top 10 series that I wanted to go ahead and do for the channel to wrap up my thoughts and plant life for 2019. I've been having fun with my top 10 series. In today's video, I thought it'd be fun to sit down and talk about 10 of my most expensive plant purchases of the year, whether it was a dollar amount wise or paying a really big dollar amount for a very small plant, I am going to be showcasing 10 of my most expensive purchases for 2019. If you enjoy this type of video and enjoy seeing me expand the top 10 to wrap up my thoughts for my plant life for 2019, give this video a big thumbs up. I'm in the middle of uh, helping my grandma here and she's doing a whole separate project you'll see in the video prior up to this one. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and check it out. My grandma is redoing and cleaning up the greenhouse and all of the babies there. And once she's done with that project, I will go ahead and film a greenhouse plant tour. And that is, I know, something that you guys wanted to see and I'll film that before the year ends. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about plant baby number and one. You'll see a trend in the first handful of plants that I bring up. They were all plant orders. So the thing with plant orders is that you have to pay a lot of shipping. So you have to take that into accountability as part of the amount of money that you're investing into a plant. And this is, I think, one of my first plant purchases of the year for mail orders. This was a very expensive purchase for me. This is a Raffida for Tetrasperma. This plant was also featured in my 12 plants for the year. So this has been getting a lot of plant time on the channel. But yes, this was one of my most expensive purchases of the year. I paid a lot for it and this was shipped to me and so far so good i think maybe in the upcoming year i'll probably have it live more uh, outside in the patio so that it can get more natural lighting but i think it's doing pretty good for living in and out of my bathroom and it's living staked up on this pole so let's see but this is definitely one of my most expensive purchases of the year i guess what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk about the plant babies that are living in the bathroom that are super expensive there's a lot of rare babies in there that are very expensive this is one of them and this is a philodendron here the jose buono this was also a plant order and this had put off a new leaf so this is its newest leaf right here but for these four leaves that i got for the plant cutting and it was rooted i paid a lot of money for it i have to take shipping accountable for this plant as well but for this small little baby right here with four leaves i paid a lot of money for and i don't think i paid this much money for such a small plant since my pilea peppermiotes like a couple years ago hopefully in the near future it will give me off some more leaves and i would like to see it grow big in 2020 and the upcoming years so that i can get my money's worth but still i'm so happy i purchased this baby let me know if you have this plant and how big is it and did you pay a lot for it or not that'd be fun to see in the comments so this is another plant baby that i want to go ahead and bring up and share with you for one of my most expensive plants of the year this is my philodendron maximum and again another plant order baby and this one came all the way from florida it has not put out any new growth it still looks the same but for a plant with three leaves boy did i pay a lot of money for this plant it's considered a rare philodendron for me and like i feel like this section here i want to cut off and trim because nothing's happening here and it looks like they took a cut from here and i see some new growth happening here but I think this was here when I purchased the plant. This is another fun philodendron I've never seen ever before, so I had to pick it up. And these plants that you order online, you just you spend a lot of money for shipment. And especially if you want to get plants that you don't see in person, then you know that you have to probably invest at least $20 more just to get it to you. So this is one of them. And I love this planter, by the way. This is one of my favorite thrift, I think the most favorite thrifted planter I ever found. And this was thrifted in Arizona. But this lives full time in my bathroom on my plant shelf. And I, I love philodendron. So hopefully it'll put off new growth in 2020 for me but definitely a very expensive baby out of all of the plants today i've had this one the longest and this is my welfin sensevaria i sold four tails off of this and oh my goodness the baby is about to pop up from the planter down here i don't know if the camera can catch it but it's in there right here so cute 
and the baby back here is doing good so sensovarias are very expensive there's a handful of them that are common and inexpensive that you can maybe pick up for under twenty dollars and then there's these really rare expensive babies that go for over a hundred dollars i guess it just depends where you live i know in the philippines plants are super cheap for american dollars but this when i first bought it with four more tills in here it was a very big investment i purchased this back in february and i wanted to include this in my 12 plants for the year and um, yeah i love this thing a lot and i knew i wanted to get the wilfin in my collection being a sense of area collector i knew i wanted to invest in it i finally did it this year so i could check that one off of my wish list and now that i have it and i see how much growth it has given me like look at how cute this little baby is popping up from the back i'm glad i have it um, but it's crazy when you want something that's on your wish list you will spend the money when you see it in person and i'm glad i, I have it but definitely i think i'm thinking about all of my sense of areas in my collection this might be my most expensive sense of area in my collection i think so isn't that crazy to think but i mean look at how stunning it is and i love I just I love the aesthetic of this plant so this is one of my prized sense of areas in my collection and my most expensive one to date oh my goodness this is my silver sword you guys are already seeing this in my 12 plants of the year and I am not joking with you when I think about all of the plants that I purchase I think my whale fin sense of area for my in-person purchases of the year from the babies I'm talking about because half of them or most of them are ordered through the mail that I'm featuring in today's video this is really expensive I think my most expensive house plant that I purchased this year maybe I love it a lot it's an investment for sure there has been a lot of new leaves put off on this plant and this is something that I'm gonna cherish for the upcoming years and I'm kind of interested to see where this plant is going to look like at the end of 2020 but again another rare philodendron let me know in the comments down below if this is considered a rare plant where you live in the part of the world and if it is um, how much are you paying for your plants because this was a lot of money and I would like to say I think my most expensive house plant that I purchased in person for the year this could be the plant but don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure and I haven't had this plant for too long if you watch my 12 plants for 12 months for 2019 I got this more towards the end of 2019 but I love it a lot and it's one of my prized plants in my collection but one of my most expensive plants another expensive plant baby this is my monstera adansonii my second one this is from the bay area do you guys remember i did my bay area series and this was a really cool find of the year and one of my most expensive purchases and i can't believe i packed this plant on my carry-on and this planter went in my carry-on suitcase but this is the look of it and my subscriber that i did a trade with has cuttings from it as well as a bunch of you guys were able to purchase plant cuttings from this it. This plant is a very uh, dear to my heart plant. I love this thing so much. So yes, it was an investment. But when I look, I just gave it a water here. So um, it is nice and wet. When I look at the sections in here, I can create so many more plants off of this plant. It's staked up on my original uh, moss pole, but I would like to give it one of mine that I made in the future when it gets a little bit bigger. But this thing is so stunning and I got this in the Bay Area and I think plant life in the Bay Area is also expensive. I know when I lived there, I was paying a lot for plants. So I guess it depends too where you live, how much you're paying for plants. But as far as for house plants of the year i think this was one of my most expensive ones for 2019. here is one of my newest plant babies for 2019 and there's one section in here that i'm gonna have to put in water and propagate it just fell off but that's fine so this is a very cool find this is my hoya linearis i have another one too which is smaller and just as expensive but this is my most expensive Hoya purchase of the year, I'm pretty sure. Haven't had this one for too long, 
but this is considered a rare Hoya where I'm at and the cool thing about this from what I see on the internet is that this is a very giving plant so hopefully when I root this and put it back in here it'll give me new growth but when I seen the Hoya Linearis I had to get it it was part of my wish list plants for 2019 so I'm glad I have it there's a bunch of Hoyas that I would love to have and let's see if they end up showing up in my collection for 2020 but this is probably my most expensive Hoya for 2019 and I wanted to go ahead and share it in today's top 10 most expensive plants for 2019. We went over a bunch of plants that I purchased over the internet and there was a bunch of plants that I purchased on the internet that died completely which is really tragic. Maybe I'll talk about that in a different top 10 video wrapping up my year in plants. I want to go ahead and talk about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have three more plants that I want to bring up that are my most expensive plant purchases of the year and they were shipped to me as well and very rare plants but this was something that I've been dreaming of and I finally have it as I touch Bob Marley here. So let's bring up my first so bait. This is my variegated monster elbow. Unfortunately, the downside to this plant is that there is no new growth happening on it. I really don't know where I would see new growth if I did. Um, there was a cutting taken from this part of the plant but on the flip side on the positive note this plant is doing good in my collection and in my home here in Santa Monica I would like to see it at least give me a new leaf in 2020 if that does happen I will let you know and especially any of my rare plants if there is any new growth I will definitely show it in every single pot of fame when it does give me new growth because they're rare and expensive babies but this and the next two plants I'm sharing with you to wrap up my top 10 most expensive plants for 2019 are the most expensive plants I've ever bought I think in my collection in general so this is going to be very fun to document and share on the channel so here is my Thai constellation Monstera variegated and this is the condition of the plant now when I purchased the plant this leaf was already uh, turning yellow and as much as I want to cut it I still have it on the plant because I paid so much money for it but take a look at this you guys like how cool is this I will share it for December's pot of fame this leaf recently unfurled and it is the cutest thing so I'm glad that it unfurled a new leaf for me because I spent so much money on this plant. I was very stressed out that I wasn't going to be producing any growth and then I would feel really bad for myself for investing so much money in a plant. But I'm so glad. This is probably like one of my greatest plant accomplishments for the year for growth wise is having this new unfurled leaf here and it's so cute and variegated. I love it a lot. So this is another plant purchase that I did an unboxing for which was very fun. To wrap up my top 10 plants that are the most expensive plant purchases of 2019, I'm gonna share with you my other Thai constellation. Yes, I have two. And as you can see, there's another browning leaf here which was like this when I purchased it. But look at this. There is a new leaf slowly unfurling and look at how pretty it is i can't believe it so my two monsters that i just shared with you now will be part of december's pot of fame so stay tuned for that i'll go ahead and film that video when we're back from las vegas for christmas and my work week but i'll give it a spin so you can see how it's growing on this side so that makes me really happy i'll bring them up side by side so you can see so here's what they look like side by side and i can't pick them apart like which one i love them the most they're both beautiful and i love having them in my collection but let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed my top 10 series expanded out to my 10 most expensive plant purchases for 2019 let me know down in the comments below if you have a bunch of plants that you invested a lot of money in this year and what plants were they i would love to see that in the comments 
If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads. There's a video that goes live each and every day at 5 a.m. This was very fun to share. I'm really having fun with my top 10 series, wrapping up my thoughts for 2019. Um, it's a great way for me to document my plant life and also to share it with you on the channel. And this is the first time I've ever sat down and talked about 10 most expensive plants I've ever purchased. And this is 10 of the most expensive plant purchases I did for 2019. So stay tuned. In a year, I'll go ahead and talk about 10 more new plants that I purchased for 2020 that were the most expensive of the year. So I'll make sure I document and make note of that when I purchase plants in the future. So that is going to wrap up today's video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to check in with my grandma because she's in the process of taking care of the greenhouse babies right now. And I do teach my night classes tonight. And I am going to see Tanya today and give her her plant babies for Christmas. And I would like to also capture that on footage, which will be in an upcoming video you'll see. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go over to Catherine's house and I'm gonna have her reaction to for her plant babies. And then shortly after that, and I think I even Tristan tonight. So there's a lot of people that will be getting plant babies from me and I'll share that in a whole separate video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas and happy holidays and i'll see you guys soon we're heading back to las vegas in two days so there's a lot of things that i want um, to do for the collection and my grandma as well before we leave for eight days or so and it's going to be raining for one whole week while we're away so that stresses me out too i'll see you guys tomorrow until next time aloha from santa monica california bye